hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how i created this blue and silver makeup look i'm starting off with my brows as usual just brushing them up and then i'm gonna outline them and fill them in with a dark brown pencil after filling them in i'm just gonna go in with my concealer uh, clean up the bottom. The concealer I'm using is from AOA and I use that to clean up the bottom. It's one shade lighter than my skin tone but for the top I go in with my foundation. As usual I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, a tiny fluffy brush and just blend out the concealer so it looks natural. Here I am applying the foundation to the top of my brows to clean that up. I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush again to just blend out the concealer. Don't forget to center off your brows because you want everything to look seamless and appear as natural as possible. So I'm moving on to the eyes but before I start with my eyes I'm going to prep my skin so that it will soak into my skin once I'm finished with my eyes, it will be ready for a foundation. So what I'm using right now is from L'Oreal. It's called the Skin Perfecting Base. And I also went in with some Maybelline Baby Skin Primer in my T-zone area. And then I mist my face with e.l.f. Mist and Set to hydrate my face further. I'm using the concealer the same one I used to clean up my brows I'm using that as my eyeshadow base and as you can see I use my fingers to blend it out on my eyelid the shades I'm using today are from the coastal sense palette and I'm starting off with black in my crease area then I'm gonna take blue to just blend out the edge of the black to create a little gradient effect and I'm just using slight tapping motions and also windshield wiper motions to blend it out once I'm satisfied with uh, the gradient I just took a clean brush to further blend it so it may appear um, seamless no blotches or anything like that that's why I'm going over it with a clean blending brush of course when you blend your eyeshadow sometimes you lose some of the pigment and that's why I went back in with the black so to figure out where I want to cut my crease I just applied a tiny bit of concealer to my eyelid then I looked up and it marked the spot perfectly for me and then I'm just gonna work with that as a guide to where I want to cut my crease. So taking a small concealer brush, I'm just cutting the little part of my eyelid that I want to create the halo effect on. And on that, I am going to set it with some silver eyeshadow from the same palette. I'm just gently tapping it on to the concealer. You can use your finger for this, or you can also spritz your brush with some setting spray to get a bit better pigment or a better payoff. To blend out the edges, I'm going to take a lighter blue and add that to the edges of the silver and then I'm going to go in with the same blue that I used to blend out the black below my brow bow. I'm going to take that and add to the further end of the halo. Just like so. And I'm also going to deepen the, the edge, the outer edge of my eyelid with the black. I went over with the silver just to make sure I don't lose any of the pigment because I want that area to stand out. Now that I'm finished with the eyeshadows, it's time to line the eyes and this palette is from Beats by Deb. I was on TikTok, I came across her video and I saw her using that and I thought I had to get it. All you have to do is just 
spritz the color you want with some setting spray and you get the perfect color liner one thing though you need a very good brush to um to get the perfect line but it's called liner me palette by beats by deb cosmetics so i've applied my foundation and now i'm just gonna highlight the areas of my face that i want to highlight using my same aoa concealer and i'm taking a damp beauty blender to just blend it out my contour I've already placed my contour where I want it to be and if you notice I went back in and spritzed my face with some setting spray because I want to stay really hydrated that makes your makeup look so much better when you keep hydrating your face throughout it's not ashy it's not dry or patchy it's just moist and has a beautiful finish my blush is from Shein Glam Again, I spritz my face before blending the brush. By the way, I'm using the same damp beauty blender. You gotta learn to multitask and use your tools for more than one purpose. So to set my under eye, I'm going in with AOA Studios um, Perfecting Powder. And I gently tap the powder onto all the areas that I highlighted. Under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow. So I'm going to set the rest of my face using powders from the Sasha Powder Palette. And I'm just taking a color that matches my skin tone and just press it into my skin. my contour I'm using a darker shade from that same Sasha palette I don't like my contour to be too dramatic I like to look natural I like everything to appear seamless so I don't like my contour standing out and showing where I put my contour from my highlight I don't like to see a lot of different shades on my face I like for it to be as natural and as seamless as possible I'm setting my blush with Milani's um, baked blush. There we go again. I am spritzing my face with some setting spray again. Moving on to my under eyes, I'm just taking the black to so line my under eyes and smoke that out with the blue. the Maybelline mascara for my mascara and then I'm just gonna add some lash from beautiful bells which you can get on my website www.beautifulbells.com so I love 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 this eyeliner it's actually in an eyeliner plus lash glue in one it's from I envy so I'm just going to line my eye with that and then just put my lash on. It makes it super easy. If you hate putting on lashes or have trouble putting on lashes, I would recommend you get one of these liner plus lash glue in one. For my lips, I'm lining with a brown pencil liner. And I'm just going to fill in my lips with some lip gloss from beautiful bells again this one is called goddess thank you thank you so much for watching my video give me a thumbs up if you like my video so far remember to comment and share with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can you don't miss a video from me and here's the finished look let me know what you think
again thank you so much for watching and enough love enough respect remember to think beautiful be beautiful and see you in my next video